This is a lecture from Open Tuition. For the free lecture notes that go with this podcast, please visit opentuition.com. Page 65, Information Flows, vital. We're talking about management information systems. Information flows are vital if management is going to be able to manage risk and monitor internal controls. And three elements need to be apparent. Internal and external information is required in order that informed decisions can be made. And remember that quote I gave you yesterday, that more information leads to better decisions, which I still think is a silly quotation. Secondly, the information provided should be on a regular basis in order that management can monitor performance of the three E's. And there needs to be clearly defined effective channels of communication so that management receives the information on a timely basis. And that we have clear lines of reporting, that reporting, and it's the pyramid structure, isn't it? You report to your immediate superior, and they report to their immediate superior, and so it goes up. Those of you that work for audit firms will, will be familiar with the structure, not from your clients, but certainly from within your audit firms. That there's a, a layer of um, workers, and above that nobody else does. No, that's not fair. There's a layer of workers, and, and the, the juniors or the year one assistants report to the year twos, and the year twos report to the uh, audit assistant. The audit assistant reports to the... Uh, assistant in charge and so it moves up and you get and smaller and fewer and fewer and fewer. One of my uh, former colleagues married a, a former student and he worked for Arthur Anderson and, and, every, and he stayed with Arthur Anderson when he qualified and, and he got given more and more and more responsibility and every year when his promotion was due they would promote him. Every year he got promotion, but every year they created another layer of bureaucracy. So it was like running through treacle, it was like running through, through syrup or molasses. He actually wasn't getting anywhere. But he did eventually. He ran faster than they created the layers and he made it to partner. So, clearly defined effective channels of communication. All information characteristics, AACCC, IOPRRT, UU. I can't remember any of those. It's not really a mnemonic, is it? No. All animals can carry cards in other people's... I can't do this. <laughs> Come on, fill them in. The characteristics of good information. Hmm? Accurate. Yeah, accurate. Yep, accurate. Is that it? Is that it? Is that, is that the, the sum total of our knowledge? Adequate, complete, concise, what's concise, um, not filled out with unnecessary detail, it's, it's not precise, precise is more accurate, concise is, is to the point, it's, it's Restricted to only the information which is absolutely necessary. What's another C? You must know another C. It's almost like concise. Correct. Correct. No, that would be accurate, wouldn't it? No. Con it's, it's not concise, it's consist consistent. Consistent, yes, consistent. integrated that's it's information which is generated as a result of the normal routines the normal processing of transactions routines it's integrated within the system it's it's um, consistent with everything else within the system so it's an integral element of a, an overall system it's objective it's unbiased, therefore. It's objective and 
not subject to individuals' preferences, objective. P is, it's, Precise. it's who? Precise. Precise. No, precise again is more accurate. It's provable. And then R and R is always the same. R and R is, is always, it's not rest and recreation. Re relevant and, relevant and reliable. Timely. Yes, timely. Uh, I'm going to put unbiased here, which is really the same as objective, but I could equally put uniform. But uniform is also pretty much the same as consistent. And the last you understandable. Characteristics of good information.